The DNA helix changed how we thought about ourselves. The discovery of the structure of DNA in the early 1950s is one of the most riveting dramas in the history of science. Crammed with brilliant research, naked ambition, intense rivalry, and outright deception. There were many players, including Rosalind Franklin, a wizard of X-ray crystallography, and Francis Crick, a physicist in search of the secret of life. Now, with the death of the American geneticist James Watson at 97 on Thursday, the last of those players is gone. That wrenching drama ultimately changed how we conceived of life, and of ourselves, as the discovery of DNA recedes into history. It becomes difficult to even imagine how people thought about life before that breakthrough. The laws governing inheritance are quite unknown, Charles Darwin acknowledged in 1859 in The Origin of Species. Darwin went on to tackle that mystery and failed to solve it. He imagined that particles streamed from through the body into the sperm and eggs that gave rise to the next generation. But they couldn't agree on which of the many molecules in the cell were genes. Some thought they were proteins. Others looked instead to a mysterious substance we now call DNA. The work that Watson and others carried out in the early 1950s offered a strangely simple vision for how life works. DNA was made of two strands twisted around each other, each decorated with four molecular units called bases, a four-letter alphabet for writing genes. The crucial step by which a cell turned into two cells was to split those strands apart, and then to add on a second strand to each of them, faithfully copying the script of the original.